Hey everyone, welcome back to Comic Culture. My name is Nick. Today we're going to have another how-to video. Today's how-to video is inspired by various emails that I've been getting from CGC and CBCS for their private signing events. So today we're going to go over how to prep your book and create this uh, signature window here for artists or writers to use. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so what is a signature box? Well, a signature box is, if you look at this spawn number one right here, let's say I was gonna meet Todd McFarlane and I wanted him to autograph this, and I wanted it in a specific place. I could hand the book to him if I met him in person, he would probably take whatever Sharpie he had, um, whatever pen he had, and he would sign wherever he thinks he would sign. But let's say I wanted a specific spot. Let's say I wanted it uh, diagonal and like right across here or horizontal right across here, uh, something like that. God forbid he goes up here and signs across the spawn name, <laughs> you know, but a lot of writers and, and artists, they kind of know where they're going to be putting their autographs. I would say especially the artists. So what are we going to do today? Today we're going to prep this book for um, uh, a send off for a signing event. Um, I'm not actually going to send this one, but this is an instructional video on how I would typically do it. Okay, so what are some materials that you're going to need for this? You're going to need, obviously, your comic book, and I have a, a free comic book day issue of Spawn number one right here. Um, it's inside of a bag, and it's inside of a, uh, it's behind a board, so that's perfect. I have some scissors in case we need it. I have some extra wide blue painter's tape, and I have another cutting tool, just a box cutter here in case I need it. So we are going to prep this book. So I'm going to say that I want the autograph to be just horizontal right across the front here. You can really do whatever you want, and the, and the process is, is essentially the same. So we're going to start by just getting some of this blue painter's tape out. So I'm going to go ahead and work on getting this going. And you kind of want to pay attention to your, to your width here. So right around there is right. And again, the comic book is inside of this bag, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply just like that. I'm gonna get my next piece out about that length. And let's just say I want him to sign right in the middle there. Looks good to me. And so now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna create a box. So something like that. And if it's too, if, if there's not enough room, you can always take this piece and cut it in half. Just like that. And it creates a smaller piece right there. And I always try to find the flat edge and I put that wherever I want it to go. So something like that and then flat edge here, something like that. So we have created a, basically a window for the writer or artist to place their signature. So what do you do now? So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out this box in the middle. You don't want to do it with your comic book in there. So go ahead and take your comic book out. So with the book out, leave the board in there. You might need to replace it um, later. So you can take your other cutting tool. I have a razor. I typically use um, kind of like a fabric, uh, something like this, uh, like a kind of like a scalpel looking uh, tool here. But uh, this one's a little bit dull. This is probably dull too, but it'll work for the purposes of this video. <clears throat> so there's a couple different things you can do here. You can either cut along the blue all the way down, um, or you can cut just inside the blue. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna cut inside the blue, just light pressure. You can kind of use the edge of the blue tape as a guide and it works just fine too. It kind of hugs that for you automatically. And you just continue all the way through. Apply a little bit of pressure on the actual middle section because it's going to want to jerk around on you a little bit. And then pinch and there you go. You pulled out the that center piece. So what you're left with, if I can get in there, is this pocket here. So then all you have to do is put your comic book back in here. I will say at this step right here, you might be super used to just throwing books in, but you wanna be extremely careful that the book you're putting in doesn't grab when it hits the bottom piece 
So I always stop before it gets to the bottom and pull this piece up and then I continue to slide it through. And then don't do what I just did. Look at that, that tape stuck right on there. And then just continue to put it down. Go ahead and secure it down there. And now that writer or artist or whoever you want has a nice clean window right here. They know exactly where to write. And what you can also do is you can also put, sometimes they require this when you send books in, you can put the uh, artist or write, writer's name across here. You can say something like uh, silver Sharpie, please. And then like, thank you. And, and little notes like that across this section. It's pretty neat when you do that. Um, but uh, I've seen them wanting you to put um, uh, the artist's name and things like that, and maybe the color of the pen over here. Sometimes it's also on a sticky note or on the back of the board behind it. So just follow the directions when you're submitting. But this is how I typically prepare my books. What I would do from here is I would also, again, follow the directions they give you when you submit. But I would also recommend putting another uh, board right on top of here and then maybe putting it inside of a, a modern bag because um, another another bag this size, a current run bag is probably not going to fit. Um, uh, you know, a comic that's already inside of a bag and a board. So I would put another board on top. I would put it inside of a modern bag and then I would ship it like that. So this is how I prepare my, um, you know, comics for different signature events. Again, it's a great time to do it because everyone seems to be still doing it since cons are down. So let me know what you think. Do you have a different way of preparing it? Do you have a different process or any other tips that you can provide anybody that wants to prepare books for signature events. So thank you for watching the video. I hope this was informative to you. Um, I'm hoping to be able to provide just some basic tips for new collectors or for folks that want to take advantage of these signature events and they got to prep books to send them in. So this is how I would do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you have any other tips or suggestions or another way of doing this. And while you're down there, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification. I'm putting out weekly videos on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the comments.